Guys, it's BD here, and this is the how to build a keyboard video starring my first keyboard build ever, the KBD Fans Acrylic Tofu 60% Keyboard. I've been wanting to build this keyboard for a while now, and I finally built up the nerve to buy it and build it because building a keyboard seems so hard and it seems so intimidating. Well, I'm here today to let you guys know it's actually not. It's actually quite easy. So today I wanna share with you how I built my new keyboard. I'll have everything linked down below if you guys want to build the same exact keyboard as me. And all this keyboard cost me around $310, but a huge chunk of that was from the keycaps, which were $90 for the set. So you could go for a more affordable option and get the price down to around $250 to $270. So the parts that I went with were the acrylic tofu case because it will give me an amazing outer ring glow that matches the theme of my setup. I also went with the One Up Hot Swap PCB. This is going to be the brain of the keyboard. I went with this one because it has a underglow to fill out the acrylic case and it's hot swap so if I ever want to change out my switches I can do that as well. The plate I went with was the brass plate from KBD Fans, the GMK screw and stabilizers, the switches I went with were the highly popular Gatoron black ink linear switches and the keycaps that I'm going to be using are my Mito canvas keycaps because I feel like that matches the aesthetic that I'm going for. Now there are a few things along the way that you'll need and I'll let you guys know what they are when we come to them and of course I'll have everything like I said linked down below as as well. The first step is to plug in your PCB and test that it works because you don't want to build this thing and just come to find out that the PCB is bad. So you need some tweezers and you just want to touch the two metal conductors here. This will set off the keystroke. I use switch hitter to show that the keys worked and they light up with this green when the keystroke is fired off. After that's complete, we'll move on to the clipping, lubing, and band-aiding of our stabilizers because nobody wants a rattly space bar. What you'll need to do this is some dielectric grease, some lube, band-aid, and some clippers which I will link down below what you'll want to do here is twist the bar out of the stab and then what you'll do is you'll take the clippers and cut the two legs off that look like a leg with a foot attached to it and then you'll just lube the inside of the stab housing I just used my tribosis lube that I use to lube my switches next you'll take the bar and dip it into the dielectric grease and then snap it back into the stabilizer the stem should have the side with the two holes near the top and then you place the bar into the second hole that's closest to the back of the stabilizer now you do this for each each side and you'll need to do this for the space bar, the backspace, the enter and the shift keys. Next we're going to band-aid the PCB where the stabilizers lay before placing them in. So we're going to cut little pieces of the band-aid and lay them in between the places where the stabilizers plastic rest. So there's not going to be that plastic on PCB action going on causing that rattling. Then from there, we're just gonna place the stabilizers in. Since they are screw in, we'll place them in with the hooks and then screw them in from the back and then you're done. So next I placed the PCB into the case and screwed it in. Now, if you're doing like a soldering job, you wanna do this kind of outside of the case, obviously, because it'd just be way too hard or pretty much impossible. So then what I did is I placed the brass plate into place. Next, we'll take the Gateron black ink switches and lube them with the Tribosis 3203 lube. I have a full tutorial on how to lube your switches, but for now, all you have to do is use the switch opener or screwdriver to pry open the switch, lube the sides and the pillars, both sides of the springs and then the sides of the stems. Since this is linear, we can lube the legs as well. And then you wanna place the stem back into the spring and close the housing. This is probably the most time consuming part of the entire project. It takes two to three hours to lube the switches. It can be a real pain, so take lots of breaks and maybe even come back to it another day. One tip I have to kind of speed up this process is to take apart maybe like 20 or so and then put them back together. Uh, that's the best way to do it in my opinion, rather than doing one by one. It just takes forever when you do it that way. What I recommend first is doing the stabilizers first, learn from my mistakes because I misplaced a stabilizer bar into the first hole and it made my backspace key lopsided so I had to take everything apart again. So test the stabilizer keys first, take it from me uh, by placing the switches into those first, it'll save you a lot of time. After all the switches are in, I would then again test on the switch hitter to make sure everything is working and I had a few that weren't actually. I got a few lemon switches but I had a few extra to spare so I was fine. 
After that, you can put the keycaps on and plug it into your PC and you are good. You may want to customize it by flashing a QMK configure, but the keyboard as is has everything I would want programmed on it as already, so I was good. And voila, you are done. You have your first keyboard build. Not so scary, right? I was surprised at just how easy the whole process was overall. Tofu builds are definitely a great entry level keyboard build to dip your toe into the water. The process was very simple and straightforward. Oh, and wait. Crap, we are forgetting something, guys. What is it? A sound test. Let's drop that thing right about now. Ah, oh, yeah, mm, mm, mm. These Gatoron inks are a problem. They are super smooth. Some of my favorite like sound coming from a keyboard. So these are definitely, I think, the best linear switches that I've ever tried. So let me know if you guys would want to see a review on my new Tofu acrylic keyboard and I can do a follow-up video. All right, guys, and it has been your boy, BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.